In this video, we're going to walk through how to test local or private environments in Reflect via what we call the Reflect Tunnel application. I have here a local test environment that uh, has a to-do application. I could enter something in the to-do application. I can mark it as completed and clear the completed state. And I want to create an end-to-end -end test for this. So this would be for uh, scenarios where we want to create tests before code is merged. Maybe we want to create tests for environments that are not publicly accessible because of security reasons. If I were to go and try to create a test for a environment which is not publicly accessible, Reflect is going to alert me that it cannot access that environment. And what we see here in this particular case is that the local environment that I can access here in my, my local computer, Reflect can't access it because it's using the public internet. And so this message is alerting me to that fact and guiding me to uh, downloading the Reflect Tunnel application. The Reflect Tunnel is a cross-platform application, which is simply a proxy between the Reflect test environment where your tests are running and your private or local envir environment, which is the system under test. It establishes a secure tunnel between Reflect environment and your machine so that uh, traffic can pass through from Reflex test runners into your uh, environment and then to the system under test and back. Here you can see I've already uh, installed, uh, or my um, account here already has a number of tunnels installed. When you first use the tunnel, you'll see that nothing is installed and you'll be prompted to download the tunnel for your operating system. Uh, I've already downloaded it for Mac, but we have versions for Windows and Linux as well. Once you've installed the tunnel application for Mac and Windows, it's going to appear as a system tray or menu bar application. You can see that here on my Mac. Um, for Linux, it will uh, be a command line application that you can run. So you can either run that command line application directly, or you could set up it, it as a daemon process so that it's constantly running, you know, probably somewhere in your infrastructure. For setting up our tunnel so that it connect, can connect to my Reflect account, we'll go to settings here and we'll see that uh, it's already been given an, a device name and we have to provide what's called an API key. So if I exit out of my recording here, the API key is available in the account information section of your Reflect account. If you don't have an API key already created like I have, you can just generate one through this button here but I'm gonna go ahead and copy my API key and paste it here and click on this toggle to connect my tunnel. Now that the tunnel is connected and we'll see that there's a, a log that says it's connected, we can rerun a test or actually record a, a new test again against this same URL and it will use my tunnel as a proxy. So we'll go ahead and click create test here. We'll enter the same URL that we did before and then the difference is we're gonna click this drop down here. And instead of using the public cloud option, which is the default option, we're gonna choose my tunnel, which is called Todd MacBook Pro. That is the value that I entered right here. When we click begin recording here, all the traffic from the web browser within Reflect is actually gonna proxy through my machine. And that allows me to test uh, against a local environment, even localhost or uh, against a private environment that maybe I can only access through the VPN. So here what I can do is I can create a test, um, go to the grocery store and enter, mark it as completed and then uh, clear completed. And that is my uh, quick smoke test here. Now, when you create a test against a, uh, using the tunnel, it will run the test uh, against that tunnel uh, for the first time but you'll just need to make sure that when you configure this as part of a suite, let's say, uh, that you do configure it to run uh, against uh, the tunnel that you, you want. Um, so just to demonstrate that here, if we were to go to this test and want to run it again, sort of, sort of as a one-off in the background, we can choose to run it against the tunnel through this option right here. If we were to set up a test suite, that um, has this test or a number of tests in it that need to use the tunnel, we can go to the define environment settings section 
and then choose the tunnel here. And this will save that choice for um, our suite. And anytime the suite is invoked, it will use the tunnel for all the tests. The same option is available in our Zephyr Scale integration. So here within Zephyr Scale, if I wanted to run this against my uh, to-do application, I can again enter that URL and then choose the uh, Todd MacBook Pro option instead of the default uh, via public cloud option. So again, with the Reflect Tunnel application, it's a very easy way for you to run tests against environments which may be behind a VPN or on your local computer uh, and do that through a simple app that you download. Thank you and happy testing.